Whoever thinks of Porsche 911 invariably associates the turbo models with the iconic sports car brand. As of Generation 2, the G-Series, the six-cylinder turbocharged rear engine, has been the ultimate of every model series. A true super sports car, the driver is at the wheel of the then fastest production car in the world. Distinctive features, a large spoiler and the turbo logo at the rear, internally referred to as the 930. The first turbo comes with a boost pressure controlled exhaust turbocharger. As soon as it enters the loading area, a veritable storm breaks loose. The 3.0 liter boxer's feisty power delivery calls for an experienced hand. After three years of construction, and thanks to intercooling, the turbo reappears with a power increase of 40 horsepower. A world first for a series production vehicle. More technology, more comfort. With the smoother acting turbocharger and chassis optimizations, Porsche presents the completely revised third generation in 1990. Equipped with power steering and ABS system as standard, despite economic pressure on the brand in the early 1990s, the turbo successfully holds its own against a growing number of sports car competitors. This is achieved through clear development goals that apply to every turbo generation, technical refinements, and higher performance. Last of an era, the air-cooled Porsche 911 Turbo Type 993 is today a popular collector's item. Flashback from 1995, the twin turbo power unit passes the magic 400 horsepower threshold. Simultaneously, the Boxer is considered the lowest emission series production engine in the world. In order to transfer this power to the road, for the first time ever, the top of the range engine is equipped with all-wheel drive a concept that continues to characterize the 911 Turbo to this day. The new model with the 996, Porsche changes everything. In a break with decades of air-cooled history, the six-cylinder boxer engine is now water-cooled. The change is well justified. The turbo with 420 horsepower from 3.6 liters of displacement is launched in 2001. This model generation is based on a completely new technical platform. For the first time, the customer can choose either a six-speed manual gearbox or a five-speed Tiptronic automatic. In addition, an entirely new ceramic brake system sets new standards in safety. Evolution rather than revolution, the 997 Turbo is launched in 2006. Thanks to variable turbine geometry, VTG for short, Turbo lag is reduced, a significant difference from the rough predecessor of the first generation. As of 2010, the 7-speed PDK replaces Tiptronic and features a differential lock on the rear axle for even better traction. New technologies. The 991 brings with it only the third complete platform change in the history of the 911. Active aerodynamics appear for the first time. The rear spoiler is optimally positioned, depending on both the speed and driving dynamics program. Another technical highlight is the rear axle's active steering. These technical developments always serve one purpose, maximum agility on the road. The 2020 world premiere of the 8th generation is presented online, a first in the long history of the turbo. And once again, the engineer succeeded in raising driving dynamics to a new level. Piezo injectors are used in an entirely new generation of engines. They improve response, performance, and emissions. Whether it's the Forebear from 1975 or the 992's perfection down to the last detail, they have all claimed and can still claim to be the worldwide benchmark for performance-oriented sports cars, something every generation has lived up to.